Encore une fois sur la page Facebook du groupe Défi Média, à Bagatelle, où se tient le Salon international des étudiants, organisé par OVEC. Donc euh, maintenant, on a une, euh, un autre groupe d'universitaires qui sont là. Nous allons euh, procéder par, euh, nous allons commencer par Debash Mita Bradra de Deakin University Melbourne, qui va nous dire quelques mots. Debash Mita, good morning. What can you tell us about the university? Uh, hi everyone, so I am Deba Smita Bhadra and I'm working with Deakin University as a senior manager for international marketing and recruitment with the India office. And uh, we have uh, campuses in Melbourne, Geelong. Geelong, we have the regional campuses and we also have bursaries and scholarships starting from a 10% up to a 100% scholarship. So it is totally based your academic merit and the 100% scholarships are on the basis of the academic merit and the extracurricular achievements. So we are offering it to one student from Mauritius every year for the July intake. So uh, students are invited to come on uh, at the OVEC fair and participate and no, apply for the Vice Chancellor scholarships. Thank you. Thank you very much, Debash Pita. We have uh, our next guest is uh, Alex Zimmerman from St. Lawrence College. Good morning, Alex. What can you tell us about you, the University of uh, St. Lawrence College? Good morning. Thank you. So my name is Alex. I'm the regional manager for international student recruitment in Africa, uh, including Mauritius. Uh, so I represent St. Lawrence College, as I mentioned, and we are a, a tri-campus institution. So we have three campuses located across eastern Ontario. Um, we offer two-year diploma, three-year diplomas, uh, some degree programs, and postgraduate certificate programs. So we run all kinds of different disciplines. Um, If you're interested in hands-on practical learning combined with theoretical learning, then college in Canada is a good option. Tuition fees are generally uh, on the lower end at around $17,000 Canadian per year. Um, and there are great options for placements and co-op opportunities while you study. Uh, our, our unique selling point, I would say, is that our location is um, in eastern Ontario in these communities that are along the water. So it's not quite like Mauritius, but we are located on the St. Lawrence River, which is quite spectacular. So if you're interested in a smaller community, smaller class sizes, then St. Lawrence College might be the right place for you. Thank you very much, uh, Alex. The next university is Cap Breton University, represented by Brett McLean. Brett, good morning. What can you tell us about uh, the Cap Breton University? Thanks. Actually, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> uh, my name is Brett McLean, and I'm with Cape Breton University in uh, Nova Scotia, Canada. Um, we are a publicly funded uh, government university, and similar to uh, St. Lawrence College, we also have smaller class sizes, um, but are uh, a public university rather than a college. Um, students that are interested in studying with us, our, our strong focus is really in engineering, engineering technology, the health sciences, uh, as well as uh, business programs. Uh, we are happy to announce we're, we're going to be the next medical school in Canada, opening in 2025. Uh, and certainly students from Mauritius that have studied either the British curriculum or IB, uh, we have upwards of five to 10,000 Canadian dollars available for you in year one. Um, we're going to be here until Monday. And if you are interested to apply, we do have a free application waiver uh, if you want to come down and apply with OVEC. Thank you very much, Brett. We remind you that we are here until uh, 18 hours today. We're going to be here tomorrow and on Monday as well. And now we're going to have our usual um, um, guest, Umar Razak from the University of Southampton, Malaysia. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Umar. What can you tell us about the University of Southampton, Malaysia? Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, first of all, great to have uh, be back in Mauritius once again, and that's why the usual guest um, so title. Thank you for that. Okay, so my name is Omar. I'm with the University of Southampton's Malaysia campus. So we are UK university with six campuses in UK and one campus in Malaysia. Now the Malaysian campus obviously comes with a lot of perks, which even at times the UK campuses are not able to offer. Uh, the biggest of them is obviously the best of both worlds experience. So students coming to Malaysia first, you know, with the uh, 
flexible transfer options to UK in mind. They're able to get the Southeast Asian experience and then they're able to move to UK f- to complete their studies last one year or so. That not only adds the Southeast Asian experience to their CVs, but it also becomes very economical because the tuition fee in Malaysia is one third or one fourth at times the cost of what we have in our UK campuses. Um, same applies to the cost of living and so on, right? So uh, in Malaysia campus, we have the business, computer science and uh, engineering portfolios. Individually, these programs are very well ranked, uh, just like the university, which is top 81 in the world. The electrical engineering program, for example, has been ranked number one for last nine years out of 11 years in UK. Uh, business programs, computer science programs. So those, again, um, uh, are parts of uh, being with the top university from UK in uh, in Malaysia. So again, we are here till 23rd in OVEX office and exhibition. And we do have up to 100% scholarship for first year of education with University of Southampton, Malaysia. So if you're interested, we look forward to have you at the uh, event and later in the offices. Thank you so much. Thank you, Omar, our last guest for today, because we're going to have, we'll have more lives tomorrow, uh, same place, uh, is Lance Polzer from the National University of Australia. Lance, good, morning, uh, good afternoon. Uh, what can you tell us, tell us about the National University of Australia? <laughs> right. Um, good uh, afternoon to all the viewers. Uh, my name is Lance Polzer. I am the regional manager for Monash University in Africa. Uh, I also take care of Mauritius. Uh, Monash is in Melbourne, Australia. We are Australia's largest university. We have four campuses in Melbourne. We are also a member of the Group of Eight. Group of Eight are Australia's top eight research intensive universities. Um, We also offer a wide range of uh, programs and courses. Uh, Our main strong suit is engineering, pharmacy, health science related courses. We are actually uh, the number one university currently in the world for pharmacy and the number one university in Australia for engineering. Um, We do offer some grants and bursaries to uh, students who have a certain uh, academic level of achievement up to 10,000 Australian dollars um, off their tuition fees. Um, I'm excited to be back in Mauritius and be here at the OVAC event. So thank you very much for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, all of you. Et pour terminer, nous allons donner la parole à Madame Doris Sutson, la directrice d'OVEC, organisatrice de, de euh, c'est, c'est, euh, ce salon. Donc, euh, Madame Sutson, euh, dites-nous pour conclure pour aujourd'hui, qu'est-ce que vous avez à partager avec nos auditeurs Ah oui, alors c'était plein de succès, beaucoup d'étudiants sont venus, alors il faut profiter de cette aubaine parce que vous avez entendu, il y a l'université de Dickin qui vous donne 100% de bourse, l'université de Southampton qui vous donne 100% de bourse, c'est une grande université anglaise avec un campus en Malaisie et là-bas ça va coûter un tiers du prix euh, que c'est en Angleterre et vous aurez un diplôme Euh, anglais qui va pas dire que vous étiez en Asie. Hein? Alors j'ai eu beaucoup de ces étudiants qui sont revenus et qui ont eu un grand boulot à Maurice. Alors il faut aussi en profiter. Vous avez les Canadiens qui sont là, l'université de Saint Laurent qui vous donne euh, des bourses, l'université de, ouais de Cape Breton. Alors il y a il y a plein d'offres et surtout euh, ce qui est important, on ne paye pas les frais d'application. Hein? Free waiver comme on dit sinon. Euh, en temps normal, vous allez faire l'application, il faut payer. Alors là, c'est gratuit et il faut en profiter. On est là euh, jusqu'à euh, lundi prochain, de 10h à 6h. Mais aussi, tous ces universitaires, ils sont dans les deux bureaux de OVEC, à Paul-Louis et à Moka. Et pour euh, continuer votre application, n'oubliez pas de demander à votre euh, recteur vos focus results pour pouvoir commencer l'application. Et il faut faire vite parce que les, les places se remplissent très vite, surtout euh, le Canada. Et si vous tardez, ils vous disent revenez l'année prochaine, vous aurez raté. Même si les résultats sont pas arrivés, il faut commencer, venir et surtout profiter de toutes ces aubaines. Alors, euh, donc, euh, les parents surtout, vous voudrez faire le tour, voir tout ce qu'il y a. Tous les pays du monde sont là. Ils sont venus vers vous. Alors, donc, euh, profitez de tout cela 
Et donc, euh, on vous attend demain, après-demain, et surtout dans les bureaux de OVEC jusqu'à la fin du mois. Profitez de la présence de ces gens qui vous font tant d'offres, tant de boisses et, et, et beaucoup d'autres choses, hein, des petits cadeaux qu'ils ont amenés pour vous, tout ça. Alors, donc, notre service à OVEC, c'est gratuit. On fait votre visa, on fait votre application et les parents sont sans problème parce qu'on fait, comme on dit, le babysitting pour vous. <rire> vous pouvez bien dormir parce qu'on fait tout le suivi et tout notre service est gratuit. On a des staffs très dévoués, on a deux bureaux à part lui, la rue Laboudonnée et aussi chez nous à Moka. Alors on vous attend et surtout ne, ne, ne perdez pas cette occasion. À bientôt et merci. Merci beaucoup, Mme Chisson. Euh, quant à nous, c'était notre, notre dernière euh, live. Et nous allons vous retrouver demain pour euh, faire, faire la rencontre d'autres universitaires. Restez branchés euh, sur la page Facebook du Défi Média. Au revoir.